we, we know from previous wars that the costs of a war continue for many decades after the last, the last shot is fired. The peak year for paying disability benefits for veterans for World War I was in 1969. That's more than 50 years after armistice. And the peak years for paying World War II veterans were in the 1980s. So we've seen this happen before, and we know that for Vietnam veterans, we haven't even come close to reaching the peak year in paying veterans disability benefits. But in these wars, in the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, these same uh, long-term costs that we've seen in previous wars are not only going to occur, but to a much higher extent because we have had a much higher utilization of health care, we've had much higher claims, we have had longer tours of duty, we have had far more uh, approved claims and far different kinds of injuries with better survival rates than we've had in previous wars. So we have the same phenomenon but to a much greater extent. And that drives a lot of the long-term costs of the war which we're not looking at at the moment, but which will hit in 30, 40, 50 years from now.